Hey, it's Barb Peacock, and we're going to make some wands today, some for boys, some for girls. Um, they're a great addition to your camera bag. You can just uh, take them out if kids look bored or they're not sure what to do, and they'll run around and have some fun. So I'll um, show you how to make these. It's super easy. All right, so we've already painted the doll pink, and now we're just going to measure out some ribbon and so you want your ribbons to come at different lengths um, some to here 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 some even longer um, so it's just at will really so just for this different colors different brightnesses uh, different patterns are nice so you just kind of measure them out some thinner ones thinner ones I like to be a little bit longer so we do that and we have this polka dotted one, purple, so this one could be shorter, so like to there. Obviously you can always cut them later. Throw in a little iridescence, a little yellow here. And as I've said before, you can pick up a lot of different ribbon a lot of different places. I just kind of try to watch for it when it's on sale. And grab it. Let's see what else do we have here. So that's probably good. So all you do, super simple, is on the top here, the dowel, you're just going to put some hot glue. I'm sorry, the angle's kind of strange here. There we go. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I did for the wreaths. Just have your hot glue gun ready. So all you're going to do at this point is just Make sure it's in half and just put it on the top. Hold it for a little bit. And then just keep doing that. You can do crisscross so the next one will go this way. A little more glue. Just make sure you've got it measured out. Right here. Go the other way. And just kind of hold it down. So you just do this with your ribbons. You can do any colors. And what I do is oftentimes I do keep them around, but depending, they're not very expensive to make. So, you know, sometimes I give them to the kids and they can take them home and they're yours for life after that. <laughs> And the parents appreciate it. And they go home and they play with them for hours. Sometimes once in a while they'll bring them back. Say, hey, when they come back for another shoot. So that's about that right there. Now we're just going to put a top on it. There's different things you can do for the top. Um, today I'm going to just take this. I like these thicker ribbons and they have some sparkles in, in this particular one. It is nice to use or like this one here, this pink one is really pretty. Remember in the sun, that's not going to show up too well. Um, so this will. So what you're going to do, just bend it in half and that's your middle. So you just kind of push that down. That's your middle part and bring these up so it looks like that. So this is gonna be your first your first bow. And oh, I didn't mention that this is wired ribbon. So I'm always looking for this thick, sort of iridescent wired ribbon. Now, for those of you that sew and are more clever than I am, you can sew this, which is probably a good idea, but I'm gonna just staple it, which is faster for me. I'm a fast type of person. I like to get things done. <laughs> so I just staple that and then you take the other two and you're going to just bring them up to the side like that. Let's see this one. And then you can move them around a little bit. I guess it goes this way. After 
because they're wired. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm just going to staple that. Don't laugh at me. I can literally make one of these, you know, in the, the morning of kids coming if I don't have any. All right, so there's that. And then all you do is just put some glue on here, put some glue on here, and uh, literally you're done. You need kind of a lot of glue. I put it in both places. And just kind of hold it down for a bit. Honestly, it's really nice because you can play around with the ribbon. So what I do with these is, I never introduce everything all at once in a shoot. <clears throat> you know, you kind of see what, you, what you're going to get in a shoot with the kids. Just au natural. So you go outside, you know, maybe they're shy at first. You know, we have a big backyard with a koi pond and swing and apple orchard and all this. And we built it so that the kids could just be, you know, having fun in nature. Uh, so kind of see what they give you at first. Don't pull out all your tricks at once. But when things start to go south, if they do, and they will, um, just remember one thing is they'll always come back if, if you you know, if you play your cards right, but um, these are great to pull out suddenly when things aren't going so great and kids are getting bored or you can't contain them or for whatever reason. So I keep these in my, my little side camera bag. I have my camera bag and then I have a, a little bag with that has some things in it. So I just have that with me and that's what, uh, that's what these are great for. So, you know, they have great movement. They look great if the kids are running. Um, and uh, I don't know, doesn't cost you very much to make them. So there's this one. All right, so <clears throat> for the boy wand, we're going to do stars. You could do anything um, that you come up with, but we'll just do these stars, and we're going to use this foam, uh, foam sheets. Again, I got them at Joann's, two millimeters thick. You can you know, poke around and get whatever. Some of them actually have um, uh, adhesive on the back and just a, an ar array of ribbons again. So we're just going to trace that out, that one I already made, and just stick these together. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna trace what I already have. Um, I think you can, um, I think you can download shapes and just use it as your guide so then we'll just cut this out we'll do two of them and then we're just gonna glue them together all right i'm just gonna take a guess there okay so we have our two foam stars cut out and we have our doll painted um, this time i painted it blue but you can paint it whatever color you like um, as you can see on this one I have very some very long ribbon so I thought maybe we would do that uh, so just measure it out so it's longer there okay and then we'll just do a few different ribbons so there's one and I have purple and I have orange, which should look pretty good from a distance. All right, so we have all our ribbon here. And now what I'm gonna do, this one's a little bit different. We're gonna just make sure we have it measured out and I'm gonna cut it. And then we're just gonna glue it onto the stars, the inside of the star, actually where I had all the um, pen marks. There we go. So we're just going to do that with all of these. Oops.
Okay. And if you have a pattern like this, um, you want to make sure it's spacing out. So just thought I'd mention that. And also because we're cutting two different lengths of, or two different pieces of ribbon, you can actually make one of these shorter. So it's nice to have different lengths. So that's what I'm going to do, cut this one a tad shorter. Try not to burn yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rest of those on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dowel in here, we're just gonna glue it, and then we're gonna glue these two together. So we're just gonna put a good amount of glue here. I'm just gonna make sure that that is gonna hold. We're just going to match it up on the top. So we're just going to put glue down and just match it up. And if you want, you can trim. If there's any edges showing, you can trim. And there it is. So both sides are colorful from a distance. You can pull the glue off later. You can poke around and get maybe some more boy-oriented colors. This is you know, flowers, but I know there's lots of other things that you can get. Um, so there's that. If you wanted to, another thing you could do is you could embellish this with some stars. I have these stars. They're little stickers. They're foam stickers. You just peel them and stick them on. So we can do that. You can do that with um, brighter colors. So maybe a red. I have smaller red. Again, it's always nice to do different sizes. And then I have some green, which is nice. We can introduce some green here because we don't have any green anywhere here. So you get the idea. We have an orange one. Blue from there. And we have a blue one, a little small blue one. So, I mean, if you wanted, you could do it on one side. Um, <clears throat> I think I put another baby blue one up top. Here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can glue these. You can also do um, glitter or sparkles or whatever for, for girls. So you could have that on one side. And it the thing that's helpful here is it is bright and colorful. And you could have, have it blue on the other side. Or you could put some on the other side too. So um, that's how to make a wreath. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's how to make these beautiful wands. Um, that will help your shoot immensely for the energy of the child and also for your photographs. They look beautiful in the photographs. So take care. Until next time, thanks. And go to Barbara Peacock Photography on Facebook if you want to see more tutorials. And if you like what you see, it'd be great if you could like my page. Thanks so much.